All right, so I've got some dominoes set up here. Uh, dominoes are a good representation of how mechanical waves uh, travel through a medium. So you can pretend that our dominoes are atoms and the vibration from a sound wave uh, makes atoms bump into each other and pass that energy along to the next atom. Um, we've got this bottom row is about twice as close together as the top row, so you can imagine this being a more dense medium. Of course, with sound waves, we also have other factors like elasticity that come into play, but this at least can help us understand why solids usually uh, pass along uh, sound waves faster than liquid and especially gas mediums. Uh, because the particles are closer together and it passes that energy along faster. And so we can see this represented with these dominoes here. So the middle is this blue domino. So whichever row knocks the blue domino over, uh, that's gonna be our fastest path. Go ahead and make your prediction. What do you think is gonna happen? Which side do you think is gonna win? The top has fewer dominoes bottom has about twice as many. Here we go. Three, two, one. As you can see, our bottom row of dominoes uh, went a good bit faster. We made it all the way to about here, uh, where the dominoes were falling back this way uh, before the top row uh, made it all the way to the end. This is also a great tool for helping explain why sound waves can't travel uh, through medium where the particles are too spread out, like a near vacuum, like in space. Lastly, notice that the dominoes only fall in one direction. Particles in a real sound wave go back and forth. Anyway, hope this helped you understand them a little bit better. Thanks for watching.